Dear Sagittarius, your tarot card for this week, September 20th to September 26th, is Four of Swords. The Four of Swords points towards some sort of sickness or withdrawal. However, it also brings with it rest, healing, and order. Other interpretations could be simply taking a needed break or calling a truce. Relax, stay calm and maybe even sleep on it. There's been a lot on your mind lately, and some of it has been quite heavy. You need to slow down and reconnect with yourself. Meditate on the changes you want in your life. Figure out where your strengths lie and take that route to your goal. It wouldn't hurt to even reconsider the goal. Are you sure you still want it? And don't forget your spirit. Without it, the mental world can be pretty bleak. Trust your dreams and keep in touch with your soul. Make a truce with yourself, life isn't always a battle. A new sense of self and perspective on the world are available. But you have to be quiet and still to find them. You'll be stronger in the long run. It is necessary to find a healing to old wounds or pain. Time heals all wounds. A place or an opportunity for refilling your physical, mental and emotional power is great. Do not get in touch with hard people or complex issues. It is not the right time to participate in activities or relationships. It is important to have in mind, withdrawal from problems at this stage is not escaping the responsibility. You just need to relax and concentrate a bit. Love and private life. If you are currently in a romantic relationship, you may be feeling a bit disconnected. It is important to let your partner know what is going on with you. But remember that your feelings are your own, it is not necessarily their job to try to make you feel fabulous all the time. It may be that you simply need some time apart. Don't hesitate to take it. If you're looking for love, now is not the time to push. You'd be better off getting very, very specific about exactly what you are looking for in a relationship. The time will come when you will meet someone, but not now. Work and social life. This is a great time to take some time off from work if you can, even a long weekend, you need a break and some perspective. Things are not likely to be going as you would like them to do, don't take this personally or try to push harder. Sometimes we just need to be patient with the process. If you can't stand the need for patience, perhaps the time has come to start looking for another position. Finances you may need to take a different course of action if you are behind in your payments and are not sure where the money is going to be coming from. Think through ways to bring in extra money. If you have your own business, and are owed money, step up your collections activities. If you wait for people to pay you on their own accord, you could be waiting far too long. This financial log jam will not last forever. If you can, consider a small donation to a cause that you believe in. If you can do this with joy in your heart, this often opens up the flow of prosperity in your life and, if nothing else, will help you to feel good at least for a few hours about the resources in your life. Health. This card signifies a need, in the context of health, to count your blessings. Your health may not be all that you would like it to be, on the other hand, it is doubtless better than that of many other people. Be grateful for what you have. This card can also show a need to slow down and take it easy. Pushing yourself when you are too tired can cause illness or injury. Everyone needs rest and time alone. Spirituality. In the context of spirituality, this card indicates a need for space. You need time and quiet, to really get in touch with your soul and the universal energies around us all. Even if you work full-time and have 14 children, if you make it a priority, you can find a minute or two of solitude. Find it and take it. Your sanity, and your soul, is crying out for this. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.